dehydrated, exhausted and scared, but still determined they crossed the Rio Grande into the United States. Thousands upon thousands are coming, day after day, week after week here in Eagle Pass, Texas, and everywhere else along the entire U.S. border with Mexico. After a treacherous month-long journey, these refugees are giving themselves up to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, or CBP, on the U.S. side of the river. CBP agents are being overwhelmed with processing the latest so-called search of what they say are mostly Venezuelan migrants trying to enter the U.S. asking for asylum. In the city of El Paso, in the southwestern corner of the state of Texas, migrants have been lining up at a gate in the border wall, giving themselves up to U.S. authorities. Every single day and for weeks on. In May, El Paso had declared a state of emergency. Now, the city leadership says, the city has reached a breaking point. It is not sustainable. We are getting better, we're more efficient in how we handle this, but we're just handling the emergency today. There's nothing being done to stop that flow. El Paso quickly transformed a municipal recreation center into an emergency shelter. Capacity 450 plus individuals. Press was given access to film inside shortly before migrants were placed here. Already overcrowded though, the city is now scrambling to open yet another emergency facility. This old middle school is supposed to house another 400 plus migrants. And nine hotels are under city contract to house even more people, temporarily. Cooperating with the city, other organizations and some churches. They are equally overwhelmed these days by the sheer number of migrants needing their help. There's a lot of need right now. The shelters, the, uh, the NGOs are all full and we're trying to do what we can. And still, it's not enough. Even though most of the migrants that arrive in El Paso are just staying for a few days before heading to other destinations. We're not getting people who want to stay. And that, that's, that's the normalcy that we've seen through all the surges, is the vast majority, I mean over 99% of them, are not looking for El Paso to be their home. Which creates another logistical and financial challenge for the city, busing migrants to other cities within the U.S. Chicago, Denver, New York City and Los Angeles, to name just a few. I plan to go to the city of Chicago and hopefully I can find work. I have a 17-year-old daughter whose dream is to become a pilot. And I have this little one and I just want to give them the opportunity to grow up and become good U.S. citizens. The current surge of migrants looking for a better life across the border shows no sign of slowing down. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, nearly 40,000 people crossed through El Paso into the U.S. in September alone.